Hi, I'm editor Leslie Nordia. In this week's edition of the North Coast Courier, we announced the finalists for the prestigious 2022 Best of Belito Reader's Choice Awards. With more than 9,000 nominations received and over 800 businesses nominated in 123 categories, the competition is fierce. Make sure to vote for your favorite North Coast business while earning yourself the chance to win your share of prizes to the value of 30,000 Rand. You can read all about it on pages 12 to 28. On our front page, the Army is in town to assist the municipality with the repair of infrastructure damaged in the recent flooding. On Tuesday, the military were in Sheffield, assisting with the installation of electrical poles to restore the connection between the Sharkers Kraal and Sheffield substations. Speaking at the temporary military base at the Gledhouse Sports Grounds last week, Kwadakusa Mayor Lindy Nyaka welcomed the Army contingent to Kwadakusa. They will continue to operate in the region until June 14. On page 2, Tongot Hewlett has agreed to manage the project to repair the damaged Tongod Water Treatment Plant in conjunction with the Etagwini Metro. Tongod has been without water since the floods in April and have been told it could take up to six months before water is restored. Tongod Hewlett's Head of Communications, Virginia Horsley, said on Tuesday that while they were not responsible for the provision of water, the resumption of water supply to Tongat was a priority for the company. Already Tongat Hewlett has provided 15 million rand towards the rebuilding of the road to the damaged treatment plant. On page 4, influential women from all walks of life are taking up the call to end period poverty for schoolgirls. In South Africa, 3 in 10 girls miss a week of school every month because they cannot afford menstrual products. A sustainable solution is being offered through the Red Movement, now in its second year, in the form of the Menstrual Cup, spearheaded by Salt Rock residents Joseph and Lesego Mpiana. The campaign reached 6,558 girls in Women's Month last year. Join the movement by pledging a cup for 100 rand. Every cup pledged is matched by the couple's company, Move Africa. Other great stories to look out for include two Belito residents, Dwayne Swiggers and Father Stephen Tully, who are on a 1,000 kilometer walk around South Africa, and the Flower Festival in remembrance of the local Queen of Flowers, Rosemary Ladlow. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter for daily breaking news.